I did my report on Katawawa, not the grape, but the native tribe. It is located in the southeast woodlands. Um, okay. The great legacy was um, pottery. They, um, they made it, it, it made it, it was um, elegant and it was very recognizable. Okay. They they were in the well okay they lived in the rich bottomlands and, and they and they were close to a river so they named it after the tribe Katawa, the Katawaba River. Okay. The long they lived in longhouses. Each longhouse it had a rectangle or round hole in the ceiling where the smoke could come out when they cooked. Right here in the longhouse, they had two or three sections, or each section could fit up to 10 to 50 people. Okay, okay. Um, the girls and women, they, they wore long dresses, and the men wore long sleeve shirts, long sleeve shirts with pants such as the boys did. Um, they ate squash, beans, and corn. They also ate fish and deer. A famous, a famous person from this tribe was Sally Brown Gordon. He was the last person to have the blood of the Katawawa tribe and speak the language. He died in 1952. The population back then was was two thousand. Was two thousand. They, okay. Okay. Uh, an interesting thing that I that I learned from the Karawaba tribe is is that is that they respected the colonists. 